Hi everyone and welcome back to Chess for Charity. In this video, I'm going to do another retrograde puzzle and kind of talk about how to get there, how to get to the answer. So you'll notice in this puzzle, both of the knights are gone and both of the pawns have moved. It looks like it's, you can't imagine it's two moves, right? So here, here. And that's it. Now, if you followed the other retrograde puzzle that I did, and if you haven't, go watch it because I'm about to give one of the pieces away. Um, the knight jumps like here, 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 and ends up going to there, and then the other knight ends up cycling in, if you remember correctly, if you watch that video. So I was thinking that this had maybe something to do with that. And I was thinking, okay, maybe it's a hard puzzle. Maybe I have to think about how to get this knight to go here and have that knight recapture. That way this knight's gone and this knight's gone. So I thought, okay, let's think about that direction first. And then I realized quickly that I only have four moves. And one, two, three, four. <laughs> Not that four, four. And that doesn't really help me because I need to move the pawn. So I thought, okay, that's completely ruled out. Let's start with the semi-obvious move, which is d4. And the pawn needs to be there eventually. So we'll just respond d5. And now you have to work backwards and you say, okay, black's final move has to be either a capture on a square. Like, for example, if I, if I happen to land on g8, they would have to capture something on g8, but that doesn't make any sense because this is empty. So you have to think, okay, how, what type of capture would it be? And then you think, well, all the pieces are on the back rank except the knights. Okay, so how does that play into this? And I'm going to share the answer, kind of how I thought about it. There's a reason why you move this pawn, right? That's one of the things that you have to think about. Just like in the other retrograde puzzle, again, I'm going to give a little piece of that puzzle away. Um, oops. One of the things that you had to do was you move this pawn, and that actually made way for this knight to jump in, right, and do this little journey. Well... That's kind of the thing. You have to look at these moves and say, why am I making pawn moves? So if we do this, what does that open up? Well, it opens up this bishop. Okay, now is that helpful to me? Well, you have to realize that this knight is gone. Well, that kind of means that maybe there's some intersection between the knight and the bishop. And the answer, of course, is there is an intersection. That intersection is h6. So you say, okay, so... What if I did this? This came out and took it. Okay, that's good. But how do I make this work on both sides and get my moves back? And I have to, I would need to kind of do this. <laughs> Oops. I would need to bring the, the knight here and then back. Kind of difficult. So I want to just try that and go, okay, let's, let's try it out. So one, one, and then the knight moves two, and you just swipe the knight. Two. And now you have to say, what do I do? I can't take this. So maybe you go three. And then three. Um, okay, now what? How do you, what does white do? That doesn't, doesn't make sense. And maybe I counted that wrong. But the point is, there has to be a particular order to it. And that's kind of the answer. So I'm going to give the answer away now. If you want to take one more guess, look at it, pause the video. Okay. D4. D5. Knight to h3, you swipe the knight, or do you? <laughs> okay. So like I said, if you do this, two, what does white do? White does not have a move. Right? I just showed that. So instead of doing that, instead of swiping the knight, what you do is you move your own knight, two. White moves three, black moves three, white moves four, and black moves four. Boom. That's it. That's the answer. So, that's kind of a cool puzzle. I think this is on the easier side of the retrograde puzzles. I've really been enjoying them. I don't know if anybody else has been enjoying them. I love, I'm loving it. This is like so much fun. So, if you got the chance to solve this on your own, great job. But that's it for this video. And if you enjoy the content, be sure to like on YouTube. Consider subscribing as well. Helps me out a lot. It also helps out charity because half the income goes directly to charity. That's it. Thanks so much. Bye.